They're dying pretty fast, but I'm also dying pretty fast, so yeah. I need to get better gear. Rangers tights. <laughs> what? Hello everybody and welcome back to more Dragon's Dogma 2. We are in our very first major village, or well, major town. Uh, we are in Vernworth, the capital. We made it, and we're right where we last left off after I met that uh, little kid. And so we are now needing to go and continue on with the main story here. Uh, yeah, so let's not waste any time. I'm just gonna keep going. Uh, I will just be playing and trying to get farther into this game. I'm having so much fun playing this game, and I can't wait to see where it takes us. This game is just an adventure, really. It literally is. It's an adventure. Uh, I am gonna need to change my party. Daenerys is a mage. Zoo, Zoo is gonna be leveling up. I need a a knight. I need a knight. Is there a knight anywhere? Is there a knight anywhere? Okay, you are expensive, Kate. Jeez. Search for a pawn. Advanced pawn search. Level 10. Yeah. Vocation needs to be a fighter or a warrior. Uh, gender, I don't care. Quest knowledge, sure. Um. Calm. It has to be a calm. Search. There we go. New group of people. All right, let's 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 continue the main story. The main goal I want to try to do in this game is get a new build because Rogue is not cutting it and I want to get to the other vocations besides the starting ones. So, Zoo, shut up. Uh, Quinn, shh, God. All right, all right. Hey. All right, yeah, but yeah, I want to be able to Ooh, I want to be able to get some new gear, not new gear, a new vocation. That is the goal of this one. We got some goblins up ahead. Let's see how this goes. Everybody's level 10 now, so. We've got goblins. Ow. We have no means of exploiting our it took me a while to realize that only the pawn that you created levels up and the people that you have join you do not level up. So you are needing to change them out as frequently as possible so that they are the same level as the enemies that you'll be facing and i just learned that just now and i'm already like five hours into the game nice that was superb high five we are not alone here. I have to get through this settlement in order to proceed. So there are these towns that you actually can walk into that you think are normal villages, but they turn out to be taken over by bandits. And the enemies in here can actually be quite difficult because they literally are like another group of four or five that each have different abilities that are going against your group of five. So you gotta be very careful in here. And I got lucky here because they were doing a lot of damage. Dude. God dang, dude, I'm getting absolutely destroyed. All right, Luke is getting destroyed too. Dude, these guys have a lot of hell. What the hell? That was a little rough. This is why I want to change my build to something better. I just have to find it. I can foresee no reason not to go see it up close. What statue? I don't see no statue. What statue are you talking about? Where are you? If your pack grows over full, simply ask me to sell off your surplus items. I'll have the gold for you in a trice. Oh, we're getting attacked. Hold on. No. Oh god. What the hell just happened? Yes. 
This is what I'm talking about when this game offers just so much randomness as you're trying to make your way through the world. I'm literally just trying to speak to this NPC and we get attacked by some random goblins that are absolutely destroying my team and I die here. Like that's just something that's just gonna happen when you're playing Dragon's Dogma. It's kind of funny, honestly. Once more. That was really bad. I, pff, where did they come from? And this guy didn't even help us. What the heck? Okay. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, dude, this guy. Oh, God. Dude, this is bad. Get rid of this guy. Oh, my God. Quinn's almost dead. Oh. Wow. That was brutal. Oh, there's the statue that she mentioned. I see it. I suppose there can be no harm in bringing Making my way through the forest. Gotta make my way through the forest. And I just heard something. Oh my god. No. Please no. Alright, guys. Round up. Everybody form a circle. We gotta get this guy. We gotta take care of this giant cyclops. Get on. I shall propel you into the air. Well done. I'm gonna grab his feet. I'm gonna try to drop on it. Oh, I just got pancaked. What the f Oh, God. Okay. Good job with the fire. Help me up, though. I'm literally down. I can't get up. This dude just kicked me in the head. I'm getting kicked by a little goblin. Get me up. Thank you. I'm going to try to climb on his back again. Here we go. I'm on him. I'm on him. You guys keep... Get his attention. I'm just going to keep stabbing him with what probably feels like a bunch of little thorns. These are probably doing nothing to him right now. But, hey. It's doing the job. It's doing the job. Maybe I can catch him on fire? I don't know. Somehow I'm surviving this. I'm actually not getting knocked off. So this is going pretty well, I think. Good job with the lightning. Good job with the lightning. Come on, hurry up and catch fire. Catch fire. How many stabs does it take to catch you on fire? There we go. He's on fire. Wait, no. I'm. Oh, he just knocked me off. Oh, man. I'm out of stamina. Luke. Thank you for the tap that gave me stamina. I don't know how that gave me stamina, but hey, I got stamina from a little tap. All right, back to his legs. Everybody, teamwork. This is all about teamwork right here. We got this. He's almost down the first bar. Quinn, you just got swish. Okay, Quinn, Quinn, you are always dying all the time. Like, I don't know what to say. You are just bad luck. Yeah, I almost fell in the water. You are, you're just bad luck. That is just, uh, I just don't know what to say about you. Oh! All right, Quinn, I'm going to try to revive you at some point, but I need this guy to get out of the way. And I'm alive. All right, um, Quinn, here we go. This is our time. It's the moment of truth for you to come back alive and do some damage. All right, this is all, this is your redemption right here. He's doing a charge up attack. Everybody get away, get away. We're okay. Quinn, come on, Quinn, you got this. Quinn, start shooting your arrows. Luke, start aggroing him. I'm gonna keep stabbing at his legs and he should be down here. He's almost into his second. Okay, stumble, hurry up and stumble. Come on. You want to stumble? I know you want to stumble. Come on. Uh, he's slowly but surely going to go down. Eventually, he will go down. At some point, he will go down. Ah, I just got pancaked. I just 
he went down, but I went down underneath him. That that is uh, not good. Somehow I'm doing okay health wise. Like I, it's it's uh, he ain't hurting as much as he used to. Quinn, you're doing a great job. Keep doing what you're doing. Never mind. You were on his head, but you just jumped away. All right, is he going down here now? Is he gonna lose his balance? He lost his balance, I think. No, he's still on his feet. What is, nope, oh, nope, he did. Oh, oh, I landed on his thigh. I thought I was gonna land on his belly. I landed on his thigh. All right, stab his eye. His eye is his weakness. Go, go, come on. This is not really good damage right here. We cannot allow him to get back up. If he gets back up, and we let him back up. Great teamwork, everybody. We will win this fight, but we have some more work to do. We need more practice against these guys. I'm going to continue to climb up his back. Uh, he's trying to knock me off. I'm hanging on for dear life here. And I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. And he died. I think. There we go. Great job, everybody. When did I learn that ability? I have never learned that ability ever. Did you guys see that? I just did like five different spinning attacks. That was sick. Well said. Ow. Oh, you just chucked him against the rock. They're dying pretty fast, but I'm also dying pretty fast. So yeah, I need to get better gear. Rangers tights. And <laughs> that poor guy. <laughs> what? Hey, this is what we're rocking with, man. I, I, it, in terms of stats, it's the best gear I have. So we're, that's what we're rocking with. Well, we're just gonna have to try to survive. I, I, here we go. I mean, I do have a level 19 dude with me. This guy should be able to take all the damage. I sure hope he does. Here we go. Don't mind my outfit. All right, guys. It's I just have to work with this. This is to find my footing in this darkness. This is all I got right now. This is gonna be. I I can't believe they <laughs> they have this as a as clothes. All right. I, don't want to fall here. I miss that. What the heck? Oh God! See, that's what I was afraid of. Where are you guys at? Get down here and help. Ow, God. Now we have to make our way all the way back to the main village without dying. This is gonna be... Uh, this is gonna take a while. Hopefully he, he takes like a shortcut. Alrighty. So we now have like 10 quests to do. Oh my goodness gracious. Uh, not re Relax, Sphinx. We got, I gotta get my bearings together. So is each ox cart dependent on where they go? How how quick of a fast route? Oh, we made it to Mel. What just happened? What is going on? We are none of us alike in vocation. There's a dragon. What? Hurry everyone! Get yourselves to safety! How do we I'll fell that thing myself? Wait, don't th doesn't this Doesn't this thing have a uh a turbine? I'm driving up on his back. Y'all get his attention. Oh, this is awkward. Oh God. I'm trying to get its spores. Oh. oh okay. This is awkward. Did 
the, the spores things here are his weak point. Oh, get out of that. Oh, God. Now, this right here is what makes Dragon's Dogma 2 super fun. The scale as well as the way of taking on giant monsters like dragons, cyclops, werewolves, and as of right now, those are the only three types of monsters I've seen. Oh, and griffins. Uh, it kind of reminds me of Monster Hunter in a way of how you have to take on monsters of this size. You have to look for weaknesses. You have to attack those weaknesses. You have to try to climb onto them and look for things that can either break or interrupt their abilities that they're going to be using. It makes you really have to strategize against different types of monsters and that makes this game really fun. Uh, besides the uh, like bugs and things like that, like right now the worst thing about this game right now is the weird dialogue stuff. And I don't really care that much about the story. I am just enjoying this game primarily because of the combat and the monsters and just exploring the world. The story I don't really care for as much, but it's making up for with its combat and that is great to see in my eyes. I, I am having a really fun time because of this and I, I am just always wanting to play more. Don't mind me. Oh. Oh. Can I use that harpoon up there? Probably not. Dude, I'm not really doing a lot of damage. I'm on his belly. Died. What the hell? Look out, under attack. That was awkward. What's he doing? Oh, he mad. Oh, he's flying away. He's going up. All right, I got to get to the cannon. I'm pretty sure. Was a lesson in determination. So yeah. Oh, I knew you'd come. You have my gratitude as well, sir. Ooh. Who the heck is this? Rika, glad I am to see you unharmed. You must return to the village. Everyone is concerned for you. Forgive me. I'd best go. But I shan't forget this. Thank you. Shan't. You repelled the dragon. That wasn't the dragon, but a poor imitation of it. No wonder I feel so hollow. Ask about his manner of fighting. Sigurd, you're the current Arisen, aren't you? I pray you do not walk the same path as I have. It is a style all my own. Oh. A patchwork of techniques honed for the sole purpose of slaying the dragon. Uh, could I learn that style? It's better than rogue. Unlock the Mystic Spear Hand vocation. Ooh, there we go. Mystic Spear Hand. I can change it. Yes. Nice. We got better gear. Well, gear for our vocation. New ability, new skill. This is what I wanted. So what is this 
class all about. I'm very curious to see what they do. Uh, what like what what's the mobility look like here? Ooh, some goblins. Finally, some combat. Let's go. Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our face. We must not get down. Okay, this is sick. I'm so happy that I was actually able to get a new vocation here, especially with it being the Mystic Spearhead. This class is super fun, and I am definitely going to be using this class throughout the whole playthrough because it has some crazy abilities. And, like, the idea of having magic and melee is awesome and i am just so happy that i'm able to actually have this now instead of rogue uh this is just going to be so much fun this makes the game more fun in my eyes for me personally so she imbued my service. weapon with What's fire this? all right well uh, we made it back to Melv. I mean, it, it's not really important that we're back here. Uh, I kind of just got sidetracked into a side quest that taught me how to fast travel. And we ended up fighting a dragon, and I also got my vocation. A new one that I think is actually going to be pretty sick. I'm actually digging this one. But it, it looks like Darth Maul or something, like with magic and combat. Really cool. I can't wait to see how this goes as it levels up, and I am looking forward to more of this game. Man, and there's just so many quests. Holy cow. Like, there's just, like, it's just, you just keep moving, and it's like, all of a sudden, something new happens. You don't know what's going on. You gotta really be paying attention. This game is crazy, man. Jeez Louise. <laughs> <laughs>